hydrogen cyanide is described by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health as a colorless or pale blue liquid or gas with a bitter almond-like odor. It is a liquid below 78 degrees Fahrenheit and a colorless gas above 78 degrees. It is a precursor to many chemical compounds and is produced on an industrial scale for use in many industries. Hydrogen cyanide is used commercially for fumigation, electroplating, mining, chemical synthesis, and the production of synthetic fibers, plastics, dyes, and pesticides. It has also been used as a chemical warfare agent in the past and has the military designation of AC. NIOSH reports that exposure to hydrogen cyanide can be fatal. It interferes with the body's use of oxygen and may cause harm to the brain, heart, blood vessels, and lungs. As such, workers may be harmed from exposure to hydrogen cyanide with the level of exposure depending upon factors such as the dose, duration, and work being done. Routes of potential exposure include ingestion, inhalation, skin contact, and eye contact. Some examples of workers at risk of being exposed to hydrogen cyanide according to NIOSH include workers who commercially fumigate ships and buildings, agricultural workers who fumigate outdoor pests in areas such as fruit orchards, factory workers in industries that manufacture acrylic fibers, synthetic rubber, and plastics, and steel and iron workers who work in plants that harden iron and steel. To help protect workers, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit and NIOSH has a recommended exposure limit. These are just a few of the many things to know about hydrogen cyanide and potential occupational exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.